Are you ready? It's time for another great infotaining show filled with power-packed business and life information. Welcome to Your Future Is Now with your host, Jim Grant, and co-host, Don McGrath. Want to know how to create a fantastic TED Talk or how you can become an author or a speaker or build your own online business? Maybe it's reaching a level of success in your life that you deserve. Their show is designed to provide information to assist you towards your success and destiny. Each week, Jim and Don will interview a special guest and share exciting lessons. So grab a pen and paper, take some notes. Thanks for joining the show. Now, here's Jim. And good morning, everyone. We're so glad that you took your time out to join us today. Your future is now is sponsored by speakerspathway.com. And today we're going to have a very exciting show with for you. And Dandy Don and I are just so pleased to be here, so proud to be here, and so thankful to be here. And we're so thankful that you're with us, too. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Dandy Don, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing fine in my in my home office, uh, planning on after the show doing some climbing. So absolutely fantastic day, and I, I'm, I'm so excited about, uh, about having Mark on today. Oh, absolutely. Last week, we had one of our executive training directors, Dr. Sony Jackson, on, and I want to give a, a personal thank you and a public thank you and a shout out to both Dr. Sony Jackson and Dandy Don McGrath, because last week... I was under the weather. I didn't feel good. And I just told them during one of the commercial breaks, I said, would you guys do me a favor and carry the show? And they did. They did a wonderful job. So thank you, Dr. Sony Jackson, if you're listening in or catching us later. And Dandy Don, I want especially a thank you for, you know, just doing an extra good job. You made me look, uh, you know, they didn't even miss me. <laughs> well, we certainly did miss you, Jim. And, uh, but, but asking Sony and I to talk. That's not a problem. So we were <laughs> never at a lack of words. And we had a blast talking about marketing and getting very specific on your message. And so, I mean, Sony shared a ton of great stuff with us. So we had some, some great conversations around very specific things that you need to be aware of as you're, as you're developing your message and marketing your business. Absolutely. And the thing that I really like about Dr. Sony Jackson, the reason why we're so excited to have her as one of our executive training directors with the speakerspathway.com is that Sony says, hey, it upsets me when someone wastes one penny on wasteful marketing. And that's something that everyone can relate to because usually we talk about grandioso numbers, but uh, Sony, she's one of these people that gets, get, gets down to grassroots reality. And hey, if I can save you know save you a penny, and you save a penny here and a penny there, it starts adding up. And that's my kind of people because she talks from a grassroots reality level. And you know, Don, you know today I'm very excited about the show. We've had uh, retired Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel Mark Green on before. And he's going to be with us real, real soon here in a couple of minutes. But we are so honored and so blessed to have him on the show. Most importantly, very honored and very blessed to be a small part of his Get Resilience Summit that's coming up. Because, Dandy, I Absolutely. know you're going, to be, you're going to be speaking there, too. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, so we've been, we've been uh, along with, I don't know, is it? 58 others or something there's there's going to be i think over 60 speakers at this week-long summit and i've been looking at some of the 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 lineup that mark's been publishing and holy mackerel i feel i feel humbled i feel humbled to be a part of this and talk about talk about laser focus i mean mark has been laser focused on getting the right people involved in this and coming across with that message that he wants to send for the summit. So I, I'm, I'm humbled and honored to be part of that group. You're absolutely right, because Mark did exactly what you and I tell everybody, start with the end result in mind. 
What is the end product that you want to produce? And that's exactly what he did. And the lineup of speakers that he has got, oh, my goodness gracious, for me to be a very small part of that is truly is an honor. And we're going to let uh, Mark tell us all about Get Resilience, the dates of it, and anything he wants to talk about. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is all about giving back to others, not only in the military, but for others who are struggling worldwide. And that is a tremendous message and a tremendous opportunity. And most importantly, there will be no sales pitches from the stage. Imagine that. I like that. How about you, Dandy? Yeah, I think we're all, if you've ever been to seminars, we're all getting weary of that tactic where you watch, you watch speaker after speaker after speaker. And many of them are great speakers and many of them even have very, very good information. But you know, you, you just get like pummeled. <laughs> you feel worn down by, you know, after about three or four speakers, you're like, I don't know about this. So I think this is going to be just tremendous, tremendous value that is going to be delivered. And I love where it comes from. I love it comes from Mark wanting to give back. And, and Jim, you and I just, was it yesterday or the day before? I think it was the day before you and I made a, a why video for our website because, you know, speaker's pathway for us is about giving back and it's a, it's, it's about our why. So I love heart centered entrepreneurs who are focused on giving back, turning around, helping the person who's a little bit below where they are, a little bit behind where they are and giving them that boost. Absolutely. Especially the veterans. I'm a Vietnam veteran and I know what it's like, you know, just coming back and just being turned loose. And there's, you know, like, um, you know, everybody knows that the military trains you to go to war, but no one will train you to come home. And, uh, you know, most importantly, uh, back during our days, people looked at us like we were weird. It was our problem. Why didn't you fit in the box? And Mark comes from that area being a retired lieutenant colonel. He understands what it's like for that transition. It's not easy. And a lot of uh, military personnel, they haven't really figured out what it is that they want to do. And with this lineup that he's got at the summit coming up, oh my goodness gracious, it's not going to be bam, bam, bam about buy this, buy that, and buy the other. It's going to be value-packed. It's going to be about 60 hours of value-packed information. My goodness, I mean, that's. I wish we could have had 10 hours or six hours when I came back from Vietnam. I certainly could have used it. You know what I mean, Don? Absolutely. And this, while the Get Resilience, where Mark is coming from, is from, you know, how, how, to, how to be resilient going from the military to not in the military, but looking at this lineup, this is not just for people in that position. Because as business owners, especially in your first you know, before you've really scaled, there's going to be setbacks. There's going to be setbacks. And it's incredibly important to find that resilience. To f- and notice I said find that resilience because you have it. You just need to find it and uncover it. And so there's going to be some tremendous things revealed at the summit that are going to help you, whether you're military in transition or whether you're an entrepreneur looking to, uh, to sustain your business and grow your business. Absolutely. You're so correct about that because everybody needs a team of, you know, competent people who know what they're doing, who have their heart in the right place, who is concerned and centered about your success, helping you get from where you are to where it is that you want to be. And Mark has put together a tremendous lineup. And Dandy Don, if you would be so kind as to introduce Mr. Mark and bring him on to the show and let him share some wonderful information with us, please. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. So we we were introduced to Mark through the work that we did in our in our uh, our event that we did in January, our Pathway for Vets event that we did here in Colorado Springs, where I live. And other people found out about what we were doing and we got introduced to Mark. And we've we've met with Mark. We follow what he's doing. We love what he's doing. He's been on our show before. So I don't want to breathe another another iota of air. I just want to introduce Mark Green to the show. Thanks so much for joining us today, Mark. Hey, it's been uh, it's been a great ride so far. Uh, getting ready for all of this, and you know, you guys are humbling me talking about this. I'm like, who is that guy that's doing all that? You know. It just feels good to be uh, to be on today and, and to share some of the exciting things that are coming up. 
Absolutely. Mark has joined us today. He's on the road. He's in um, Houston, Texas, and he's on his cell phone. So the um, the audio there will be a little lacking, but that, that is small time because the information that Mark is sharing with us, my goodness gracious, it's just off the chart. And Mark, if I, if I might ask you, what was, what was your why when you wanted to sit down and how did this come together? Give us a share some information with us, sir. Sure. You know, one of the things that I thought about when I was writing books early on as I transitioned out of the military was that, okay, so I have a solution for transition, which I'm sharing in my book, Warriors Code 001. But then I got to thinking, you know, what about all the other great things that others can bring to the plate? And I thought social media is so wide and so strong if you can get the message out in the right way why not partner and also build a community around things that people can follow or they can tie into with their business or and get solutions that not just that came from just my idea of a tool in the toolbox but an entire community of those and that's that's how get resilient summit was born Absolutely. And the thing that I like about it, it's kind of like a person can get in there and start biting into things and they can go and grow at their own pace. Is that correct, sir? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if a, if a attendee wants to come in, of course, we have a free version and they can they can listen to all 60 hours of this summit for free if they choose. The, the one thing about the summit that I really think is the smartest thing is that we're allowing people to communicate with any of those speakers on their own after they hear about the speaker. That way, if the speaker, if the speaker really, you know, uh, connects with that person, you know, they're going to be able to reach out directly to that person and they don't have to come through us or, you know, we're, we're allowing it to be free flow of information and free flow to those, to those to those key speakers that they actually connect with. Absolutely, because that's what Dandy Don and I realized when we put on the Pathway for Vets that was sponsored by speakerspathway.com. What was amazing was that all of the energy started flowing from all of the quality people, and it provided so much value. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a break for the commercials, and we'll be right back right after these messages. Pathway.com is the proud sponsor of Your Future Is Now, a show dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the vision and mission of Speakers Pathway. Dr. Sony Jackson's expertise is on the art of marketing while cultivating a long-term customer relationship in your business world. Do you know what to say or how to deliver your message to complete strangers? If so, Sony can help you. Tamara Hunter is a cancer survivor and works with people to focus their message or mission to the audience they want to reach. Do you feel called to create a movement to make the world a better place? If so, Tamara can help you. For additional information from any of our executive training directors, go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. some fun facts about noses and ears I'll bet you didn't know. Did you know your ears secrete more earwax when you're afraid than when you aren't? And generally, people with asthma have better hearing than those who don't. Now, here's a word for you. When someone gets their ears pierced, they're actually piercing their pinna. The pinna is the fleshy part of the earlobe. Did you know it's possible to sneeze so hard you can break a rib? That happened to my husband's secretary once. And according to research, you'll blow your nose 250 times this year. Scientists have also determined that the smell in your right nostril is more pleasant, while the smell in your left nostril is more accurate. By the way, twice as many men as women can wiggle their ears. It's marching down the road. 
I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Word. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Grant, your host, and Dandy Don and I, uh, we are joined today by retired Lieutenant Colonel, United States Army, Mr. Mark Green, and he's been sharing a little information about this Get Resilient Summit that's coming up with 60 speakers, 60 hours of information. And as we were talking during the break, he was sharing with us some of the things he has to do to put everything together. And the the reason I mentioned that, ladies and gentlemen, is whenever you want to start a business or a cause online, you're going to need some subject matter experts to surround yourself to be able to do the things that you cannot do. That's exactly what Don and I did when we created the speakerspathway.com. We surround ourselves with the we handpicked and surround ourselves with executive training directors. And Dandy Don, we smacked that one out of the park. I don't want to sound like a braggart, but the fact of it is our executive training directors, they make us look good, don't they, sir? They absolutely do. And so, sometimes you said it before, sometimes we just got to get the heck out of the way. You know, once you get the right people aligned and you make the goal very, very clear of what you're trying to do, you just sometimes got to get out of the way. And, and that that can be a hard thing. Right. And uh, that is another way of, that we need as business owners to be resilient, because sometimes we have to change the way we're doing stuff. So I want to again welcome Mark Green back to the show so he can share more with us about this great event coming up. Hey, hey, thanks, Don. You know, like uh, something just uh, bubbled up when you said that, and it really does come down to being of service to others. Um, when we do get out of our own way a little bit and we give up, uh, you know, some of that that power or that freedom to to let others to, to share or to grow in the ways that, that they want to, um, it really does empower people. And that's the whole reason why... You know, we wanted to have this as the largest summit of this kind ever held across across the country or even in the world because it's never been done this way. So because we took the ideas of health and wellness and mindset and mindfulness and relationships and family and business and finance and put it all underneath of one bubble because what one person needs is the other person doesn't. And so we give them options and then we get to do this again. And that's the great thing is that after I'm done with the first 60 speakers, we do it again. And now we have 60 new um, options or, or, or uh, you know, opportunities for others to connect with others to grow. Absolutely. As you were mentioning that, one of the things that came to my mind, one of the um, one of our executive training directors, Bill Heinrich, he is a master at teaching you how to love yourself first. That's the starting point of all success, because once you love yourself first, then you can love others. And it's all about giving. And that just fits right into Mark's uh Get Resilient Summit, just like a hand into a glove. And Dandy Don, I tell you, um, we're just so honored to be a very small part of that. I know you're going to be speaking there on the virtual stage, and I will too. And we just want to say thank you, Mark. Am I right on that, Dandy? Yes, and I want to thank Mark for all the work he's putting in because we've done some events. I've never done, we've never done a summit like this, but I can only imagine. I can only imagine the cat herding and the details involved. That at least this first <laughs> go around, a lot of it's going to going to come from you. So I want to, A, thank you for all that you're doing because I, I can only appreciate what this is. But to the business owners out there, I, I want to encourage you to think about you need to invest when you're early on. And Mark right now is making that investment because when he does the second one, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier, right, Mark? So, But you Absolutely. do need to be willing to step up to the plate, ask for help, but really be ready to invest on anything new. Yeah, and that, that, that brings me to something, Danny Don, that you really, really shared just now that, you know, it's a limiting belief that we can't do something. And, and and you know, it was said a little bit earlier that, you know, like we, we have to move away from that feeling or thought that we can't do something. And then, you know, don't make blaming, don't make excuses, just go do it. And, and with that end in mind, and that was mentioned earlier, with the end in mind, once you start doing it, the limiting belief just goes away because if you start taking massive action, 
you, you know, you don't have time to think about it's not going to work or something isn't going to come out like you think. And so I, I use that every day. I, I center myself with meditation. I take time to read. I take time to exercise. So I'm at my optimal level. So when I'm provide or when I'm giving out a vibration to people, people feel it. They know that I'm not just doing what I'm doing. It's there's more to that. And you've got to work on yourself. I mean, that's a, a key point, like what you were saying with what Bill said. If you're not happy with yourself and love yourself first, nothing else is going to it's not going to come your business, your relationships, your family, all mm-hmm. those things are still going to be out of whack. Yeah, you're totally out of balance. It's kind of like having a a tire that's out of balance on your car. It doesn't matter how much air you put into it. I mean, it's still just a bunch of hot air. I mean, you got to get that thing in balance, and you've got to get yourself in balance. And starting by loving yourself and giving, you know, forward. I like to share with people, and I've done this many times, is that when Solomon wrote in Proverbs, he says, the generous person by watering others will be watered themselves. And notice the prerequisite in that. You've got to give first to be able to receive. And that's why loving yourself is so important because you love yourself to be able to give the love to someone else. And that's when everything starts coming to you. You start attracting things like that. You're kind of like a street light out in the dark and all these, you know, others that just want to come because they want the, the light that to shine on them. Yeah, and it, it's incredible you say that because it kind of says what segues me into um, a, a com- building a community of influencers. Because, like I said early, we did this because I knew maybe one solution is not enough. It's a community of influencers that do that. And in order mm-hmm. to do that, you got to do a couple of things. Really, really are very critical. One is that you have to be visible. You have to be out there and they have to know who you are and what you do and why you do what you do. And then you got to help others. You you can't, you know, it's got to be, hey, you know, well, I don't know how, I don't understand how this software works. Well, then you be there to help them to to get them to that next level or that next step. And then collaboration. The the third thing about that community of influencers is you've got to be able to collaborate with people and find a win-win, find that, find that space where it's a win for the person on both sides and a win for the person that's actually gaining whatever it is that's, that you're bringing to the plate. So I just think that community of influence is so important in, in us building anything like this. Um, you know, the summit is going to be held the 13th through the 18th of July. It's completely 100% online. And the great thing about that as well is that we're allowing affiliate marketers and others to share the the summit in return for an, um, uh, any any of the um, conversions if uh, if someone does go away from the free side to get the on demand side of the of the summit so uh, people can actually make money from our hard work and it's pretty much a hundred percent done for you solution so we like that because when you don't just when you don't just put something out there but people understand sometimes and when people put a little bit of skin in the game. Now they're paying more attention. You know, the word free nowadays is free, but you know what? You're not going to get the same uh, benefits or the bonuses or the other things that we do offer uh, going with the free option of this. Uh, and I also thought if I, if I don't allow like marketers or something on the far end on the last day to say, hey, this is an offer that we have to help you build your Facebook marketing or or, you know, a, 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 if you're not a network marketer, you, you can completely ignore it. But we are going to allow that on that last day. So I don't want to think people, you know, is not going to get, uh, you know, here's a solution to your business. Um, you may have to connect with them directly, but I'm not I'm not going to be a part of that. So I wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, uh, people do share their books inside our, our interviews. Uh, there are quite a few live interviews that we've done uh, with 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 other speakers, so we can have an interaction of conversation. And the the other great thing that I wanted others to know is that we have speakers at every level. And what I mean by that is, but one of them is maybe this guy's just getting started, and he's mm-hmm. a speaker, and mm-hmm. he's got some adversity in his life or things that have happened, or. You know, we've got people in the middle that are, you know, that have have, have businesses for a couple of years. And then we've got some top leaders out there that are just crushing it. And so having that diversity of all kinds 
is way more interesting than having, you know, three top people across the world that have done amazing things because people don't under sometimes they don't you can't connect at that level. So that's why we did that. Yeah, absolutely. And Dandy Don and I, we we definitely relate to what you're saying there. And um, you know, Dandy, whenever uh, a person is listening to this. The message we want them to understand is that whatever they want to do, they can handpick and choose any of the people they see on Mark stage, because that's exactly what we did. Isn't it, Dan? It is just having the right training at the right time with the ongoing support. And that's one of the things Mark is trying to do. I love that strategy, Mark, of, hey, let, let's introduce some people who are who are just getting started. Because you know what? If I'm getting started, I'm going to I'm gonna probably get a lot more out of that than <laughs> some big name person who seems out of my league. And maybe I can't even learn from them because I'm not quite there yet. So okay. I, I really, really love that. And I also want to uh, – I love what you said about free. I've done a lot of free things and, you know, as we all have, right? And I would, I would encourage anyone who does, takes advantage of free things to think of it as a try before you buy, not just go take the free thing and walk away because you know what? The people who really succeed are the people who do invest in themselves and they do invest. They don't just take the free because... You know, free, uh, Mark, you said it earlier, having a little skin in the game, even if it's a few dollars a day, investing in yourself makes a big difference. It really does because, um, you know, it's, it's important because, therefore, that in, gives you the incentive to carry on. Because if you can just, you know, get something for free and it's got no value to it and you figure, well, if I don't do it today, I'll do, do it tomorrow, that is a train wreck, 100%. And um, I know that uh, with the schedule that Mark has, I mean, he just keeps everything organized. And he keeps up to date on everything and he keeps a list of everything he needs to do. And that's important because if you got a list, you don't have to worry about, you know, forgetting something. Isn't that right, Mark? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, like, and the reason why we brought guys like you guys in is because, when you have a technical expert in an area like TEDx talks like you guys do or speaking and getting on the stage and being able to figure out how you can be the best speaker that you can be and learning from the best, that's the key. We'll be right back right after these messages. Thank you so much. This show, Your Future Is Now, is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people to find their future. Is fear holding you back from your calling or your life mission? Do you struggle with taking that first step? If so, Bill Henrich is our catalyst to help you create perspectives with new possibilities that will bring you more peace more joy, more love in your life and freedom. Do you struggle trying to build your strategy? Do you know how to reach your end results? If not, GG Ames is your expert in strategy and helping you create your step-by-step -step game plan to reach your finish line. For more information on creating the life you want to live, reach out to Bill Henrich. Or if GG Ames can help you with building your strategy with your end goal in sight, Go to speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. It's marching never Have you noticed that no matter how carefully you put the Christmas lights away, they still come out all cringle-crangled and jitterty-jitterty the next year? 
Christmas tree lights were invented in 1882 by Thomas Edison. And by 1900, these miniature versions of his electric light bulb were being advertised to the public. In 1895, Grover Cleveland proudly sponsored the first electrically lit Christmas tree in the White House, featuring more than a hundred multicolored lights. By the next Christmas, members of high society were hosting flambustious Christmas tree parties. Of course, in those early days, the services of a wireman had to be obtained, as many people had considered electricity as a bit of a bugaboo. It's marching day. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. And welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're so glad that you're tuning in. And I'm Jim Grant. I'm joined with... uh, Mark Green, the retired lieutenant colonel, and Dandy Don and I, we have just really enjoyed having him here. Right before the break, we were talking about speakers and speaking and all that. And during the break, we talked about how, you know, if someone is sitting there and if the only type of speakers that Mark had at his summit were these high-level speakers, and this person is sitting there thinking, wow, I'd like to get my message out. And there's no way I can relate to someone up there that's been speaking for 10, 15 years or something like that. And I'm going to ask Andy Don if he would very quickly um, share some things about speaking and the five different levels of speaking on stage and virtual stages and things like that. Would you do so? Oh, absolutely. I think that most most people, when they think of speaking, think of getting up and giving a big keynote in front of lots and lots and lots of people. Well, it turns out that's just one type of stage. There's actually stages where you do keynotes. There are stages where you speak for free. There's stages where you create the stage yourself. There's videos. There's summits. There's so many different kinds of speaking that regardless, if you have a message and you want to get it out, there is a quote unquote stage for you. And I love what Mark is doing in creating this virtual stage and the spectrum of speakers that he's gonna have on there that are gonna share not only a spectrum of topics, but a a spectrum of life experiences. Oh, absolutely. And during the break, Mark shared with us some of the big companies who are interested and who are backing him, who are his sponsors. And Mark, would you be so kind to share that with the audience, sir? Sure. Uh, one, one, one great thing is um, two of the two of the three are veterans, and then the third one is a family that of of a lost uh, cadet uh, who we sponsored. La- who sponsored me last year in my big event, Vet Fest Live. But the first company is Old Army Coffee. If you go to their website, and it'll be on our links as well, um, what a great uh, new coffee company out there. He's got the old nostalgic look to his to his brand. He's a retired sergeant major, uh, great guy. And then we have Twisted Oaks Flag Company, who is making these amazing flags that we're creating for this Harley-Davidson campaign that we're doing. And then we have Gold Star Harley, which is, was the first recipient of one of those flags, and they're also supporting us. And they have a foundation set up for their son who was lost as a cadet from West Point when we, we gave away the bike from Army-Navy game a couple years ago at my event. And so now we're, we're giving back to them and their family to build a character for, for the youth of, of Missouri. So some great sponsors that we have. Yeah, um, that, yep. that's really amazing because those companies, as you told their story, in addition to what they're doing, they're not doing it just for advertising bucks. All three companies have skin in the game, and that's what we've been talking about. And uh, that's why they're so attracted to uh, Mark and doing this Get Resilient Summit, and they want to give back. They, they've got skin in the game. They know what it's like. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. I was going to say too that um, of the of the interviews and the in the and of the pool of of, of uh, speakers that we have within the summit, sixteen of these speakers are veterans themselves. They've been in the service, um, and they've built their own companies or their own brands from getting out there and getting rid of the limiting belief and breaking free and then building their own community of influence. Uh-huh. And I think that those three key points is what. I wanted to make today about those 
But the summit really is, you know, it's veterans and others. And those veterans, are, again, are at all different levels. And when you listen to the, what their stories are and the pivot points where they decided that they're going to do more in their life, that was the essence of what I was looking for in this post. I get goosebumps when I say that. I mean, it's just incredible the amount of, 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 of resilience you build when you listen to other people's story. So yes. I wanted to share that about the 16 veterans. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Dandy Don and I are very proud to be there, me being a Vietnam veteran. And Dandy Don, would you share with him about your dad? You're the uh, son of a prisoner of war. Yeah, my, my dad was a prisoner of war in World War II, Nazi Germany. And, um, you know, I actually, I'd known that, but he died when I was seven years old. So I, I didn't really get to know him all that well. But I had come across a series of letters that were sent back and forth between the camp he was in and his and his mother. And that really helped me understand what that must be like. And unbelievably, he would he and his mother would end every letter with keep smiling and your chin up. And that to me has become my mantra. Uh, mm. when, the, when they're going, let's talk about resilience. There's someone in a prisoner of war camp, barely, and you could see the mood of the letters over time got more and more less, less and less cheery, but they would always end that way. And so I, I love that. That's another story of resilience. Wow. That's amazing because, you know, it's all of us we've we've given, you know, to this country and our hearts in the right place. And that's why Mark invited me and Don to be a small part of this great summit. And again, Mark, thank you so much. And please share some more information with us about that summit or anything you want to talk about, sir. Sure. I just uh, I want to make sure everyone uh, can get the link. I think you'll be able to share it on the show, too. But it's Get Resilient with a T Summit. Dot com get resilient summit.com you can sign up now if you'd like to uh, you we will not unlock the speakers until the day of so you can look at the speakers bio and see what they're offering and then you can get to know the speakers even way before the 13th of July if you'd like so we, we have some great marketers behind what we're doing we have some great uh, bonuses uh, that we're that we're offering uh, we're making it pretty much irresistible for irresistible for people because the whole thing is is that we want this to grow. We want to build this community so large that I'm going to need a staff, and I am so excited that I made this this choice to to build a community around things instead of just looking at writing a couple of books and going out and doing a few speaking engagements. It really has changed everything. It's been a game changer for me. And uh, to have guys like you guys that are in the summit that are going to share some incredible products as well as, as, as what you guys do and how you do it and how you can connect with people so they can do that, because that's what it really is all about, as well as building the resilience. So. It really is. And based on what you've experienced personally in putting together uh, this summit and the other things that you've done, someone that's listening that would say, wow, I've got a cause or I've got a message I want to get out. What are some of the things that you could share with them to be able to encourage them and help them get focused on the end result? Well, I think it's just really sitting down and coming up with a blueprint of what you want to accomplish. And again, going back to that end in mind, if you if, if you want to help someone with clean water across the world, then sit down and figure out what that blueprint would look like. Who would you pull in? What companies would you work with? What companies would you collaborate with? What are your cost working estimates? And what is it that you want to accomplish? And then create a timeline. How long is it going to take you? And who else can help you? Because, you know, like getting volunteers versus scaling a new company or getting paid can be, a, can be a challenge for a new company. But I would suggest that you build this. I, I sometimes will sit down and I'll build boxes and I'll say, OK, well, what boxes have to go before I can before I can make something happen? And I just go through it and I go, OK, here's the tasks. Here's the steps. Here's the goals. And then you just take massive action and just start doing it and check them off. It, it, you know, there's no magic. It's just, it's just doing and, I, and not, not stopping the doing when you sometimes don't feel like it. 
So. Yeah, I love I love that, Mark. I love, you know, Jim, uh, I say this probably every show, but success rewards what? Action. Success <laughs> rewards action. And I know, uh, Mark, you were talking about doing some work with Jack Canfield. And Jack Canfield, if, if, you, if no one's heard his story, he has an amazing story. He had chicken soup for the souls. No one wanted to listen to it. What did he do? He got in his car. He basically lived out of his car for two years and talked to anybody in the world. who. So he loved himself and was so confident enough that he just put it all on the line and took massive, massive, massive action. And look where he is today. I know. Matter of fact, I'll be with him. That's why I'm in Houston. I'm actually helping him with his with his. Uh, uh, conference for the next two days. <laughs> so. that's, that's amazing. It really is. And you know, the message I'm hearing also is that put binders on yourself. Don't get distracted with nonsense and keep your mind on the things that you want and off the things that you don't want. And during the last commercial break, we got a couple of minutes left before we break again. But Daddy Don shared with us about when he was in college and he had that um, back in those days, that money was a, a large amount of money and he did not focus on that. Dandy, would you share that right with us? Yeah, we were talking about the free versus the skin in the game. And I, I share that when I was going to my my freshman year in college and I remember sitting there across the across the the desk from the banker that I was going to borrow $2,500 from. I was going to take out a student loan. My mother and I were sitting there and I remember being so scared because that to us at that time was a ton of money. I don't know if I ever held a hundred dollar bill in my hand at that time. And so I remember being so scared, but I will tell you that knowing that I, I owed that and knowing that I, I, I had to do that motivated me to get all A's and then the entire first year in college. So I think really having that skin in the game is important. If it were free, I probably wouldn't even have finished. So mm -hmm. I think it really is important to have that skin in the game and invest in yourself and you will receive the benefits from that. Absolutely, because when you, when you consider something as free, it means it has no value to it. And if you got skin in the game and you put some sweat equity into it, as I like to say, and you work at it and you earn it, no one, but no one can ever reach in and take that from you. That is something that you accomplish, and that's what gives you the feeling of being uh, satisfied, having a satisfied mind. That is very, very important. And I know that we're getting ready to break here in just a moment, but I just want to ask Mark, you know, about how satisfied have you been with creating this summit here? What did, what did it give oh, it's you? Been the most, it's been the most incredible thing I've ever done. I mean, you know, and the thing is, I think with any venture, you have to start, right? And just And then when you get as far as you can go, you see that much farther. So, you know, sometimes it's not the how, because we always focus on the how. So how do I do this? Stop for a second and know your why first. And mm -hmm. then when you go it a little farther, you can see that much farther. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back right after these messages with more from Mr. Mark Green. Your Future Is Now is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And just like the show, we are dedicated and aligned in perfect harmony with the same vision and mission of helping people define their future. You may have heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a video is worth a thousand pictures. Koji Sumaldi says if you're not using video in 2019, you're going to get left behind. Most people feel lost or confused when it comes to marketing. Preston Martelli is a marketing guru whose strategies are both art and science in growing your business. Preston helps you make the right decisions that are predictable, measurable, and scalable. For additional information about Koji, Preston, or any of our executive training directors, go to our website at speakerspathway.com. That is speakerspathway.com. a recording of our own voice, it always sounds different than we think. This is because the bones in our skull create a resonance from within that makes our voice sound deeper to us. 
but our recorded voice is how others hear us. I'm sure I'm not the first person who has uttered the words, I really don't sound like that. Do I? Margaret Thatcher famously underwent vocal training to lower her voice and make her sound more statesmanlike. Recently, British Airways polled Americans and Britons to see who they believed had the sexiest voices. Morgan Freeman was voted number one. If a judge loves the sound of his own voice, expect a long sentence. What's a word for a person who loves to hear the sound of their own voice? A philodox. It's words you never heard. I'm Carolyn Davidson, and you can have fun challenging your words you never heard vocabulary with my free app, Too Funny for Words. And welcome back to Your Future is, is Now. Our show is sponsored by SpeakersPathway.com. And during the break, the three of us, Dandy Don McGrath and Mark Green and I, we were talking about rock climbing. And since Don is the resident subject matter expert, I'm going to turn that over to him on the lessons learned about rock climbing. Yeah, we were on the break, and Mark Mark mentions uh, something to the effect that, you know, sometimes you can only see, you can only see just so far, right? Just before the break, he mentioned this, but then once you get there, you can see that much further. And it made me think exactly of rock climbing. That's exactly what rock climbing is about. I may be standing at the base of a climb and it could be hundreds, if not thousands of feet tall. And the only thing I can see is maybe the first 20 feet or so. That's all, that's all I, that's all I can really see with any kind of detail. And if I worried about what's up a hundred feet or 200 feet or a thousand feet, I'd be sitting in my camp chair, right back in my, for the campground, I wouldn't get off the doggone ground. So <laughs> it, it, it's the mindset of take that first step, success rewards action, take that first step, get that 20 feet up. Now you can see another 20 feet. And we just thought that was a really good uh, metaphor great analogy to what it's like when you're doing something for the first time that you don't know just having that leap of faith to take action so you can you can assess where to go absolutely and mark shared with us that he went rock climbing and he just really loved it would you share a little bit about your rock climbing experience sure we um when we lived in uh california we lived in mountain view and my son was in the boy scout so we decided to to start spending some time and uh, the uh, scoutmaster was an accomplished climber. So we went to Joshua tree and we got to climb on all the rocks down there, the granite. And I got to feel what it was like to put those little bitty small shoes on that grip really good to the rocks. And then also feel the, the heat of a rope and, and, you know, put your gloves on and just go for it. And understanding that you don't know how, you know, what sometimes you don't know the path you're going to go up until you start looking for that next thing, that next that next place where you can put your hand or that next place. And I think business is like that the same mm -hmm. way. It's an exciting time for business because, you know, the Internet and social media and the ability to reach people across the entire world in seconds, you know, for entrepreneurs like uh, for any of us who are entrepreneurs, it is an exciting time because you can do that. Um, and sometimes I say, don't worry about what the other guy is doing. Focus on what it is that you want to do. Like I said, build that blueprint. And but you got to know it's something you want to do. If you want to climb that rock, or if you want to, you know, be a rock climber, then learn how to do it. Learn the skills, and then get as far as you can, and then learn more. And it's the same thing with business. Absolutely, because as you're going to, if you're using the rock climbing as example, uh, everyone would probably imagine that it's not just a straight up climb. You may have to go a little bit to the left. You got to go a little bit back to the right. You got to be able to be flexible. And the same is true in business. You know, don't have a mindset where we're just going to go straight ahead with binders on and we're not going to make any adjustments because adjustments is what makes you successful because someone else may give you a, an easier way of doing something. I know I, I appreciate that because with my hard head, anything make it easier is right down my alley. And Dandy Don, I tell you, it's just amazing how, you know, we help people through the speakerspathway.com find their way up their mountain. 
Yeah, I know. We were just on a coaching call the other day, and it's again, again, the power of community. We do group group, group coaching calls, and someone was one of our members was on saying, "When I tell someone what I do, they don't get it, and I have to they I have to answer a bunch of questions and go on and on and on, and then I lose them." And so we collaborated together on that call, and we came up with a crystal clear statement. So without a doubt. Somebody knew within 30 seconds what that person did so they could decide, hey, this is either in my world or it's not. And so but it is about that getting clarity and collaborating as a as a, as a group. Yeah, being concise like that, because once you answer someone's question like that and give them a very uh, short, uh, concise and precise answer, if they come back to you later, the advantage in that is that they know you're going to give them another short, precise answer without giving them some big spill. Because a lot of people want to talk too much and they just really, you know, lose people in the process, you know. And and with the summit that uh, that Mark has put on with all the speakers there, they are laser focused on their topic and what they bring to the party and how they can be a blessing to others. That's the end result. That's their focus. And Mark... I tell you, it's it's amazing that you were able to do what you've done with 60 speakers because Don and I, we tip our hat to you, sir. You know, I think about all of this rock climbing and thinking about all of that. I'm thinking, you know, the climb is part of the journey and it's part of the fun, right? But also the other thing that's fun is getting to the summit, right? Right, Don? I mean, getting Absolutely. to the top, right? Because then you get to see uh, over all the work that you did, and then that's that's that moment where like, wow, I'm up here now. I'm there. Right. And so uh, what's your experience with that, with being at the top and finally getting to the top of a rock or finally getting to the top of a mountain? You, you know, there's there can be a lot of misery involved in getting there. there there's <laughs> definitely setbacks. There's challenges. There's doubt. There's you got to go left. You got to go right. You, but when you stand on that summit and you get to be where only birds get to go. Right. <laughs> it's amazing. And it's the same way with a business summit. Yeah. When you finally reach that point where your business is running, you're generating a profit, you're able to take that those profits and invest in something else or give back to things you've been wanting to for years. It's like standing on the top of the mountain with your arms outstretched towards the heavens. Oh, man, I've seen pictures of people like that. I've never done any rock climbing. Maybe one of these days I'll try. But my point being is that I understand what it's like to be able to climb your summit in your world and be able to just keep on keeping on, knowing that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, and you're not going to refuse and deny yourself from that summit. That's amazing. It really is. Yeah. And everybody's everybody's journey is different. And see, that's the beauty of it all. You know, when you climb that rock, you're not going to climb it the same way that someone else does. It's the same in business. You're not going to do it the same way somebody else does. You get that opportunity to to choose what path you're going to go along and where do you need to, to adjust so you can reach that next step. And that's I, it's, it's crazy how the metaphors have have, have met today. So, so well, because, you know, talking about summits and, and, and rock climbing and how you get to the top and that you can't just get there without starting first and taking action and then removing some of that belief that you can't make it and then just, you know, start start doing it and then figure it out. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, you don't want to get up on the rock and, and, and hurt yourself unsafely. And it's the same thing in business. You don't want to step too far forward. And now you've now you've, you know, ruined your business or you've got out of business because you didn't do it right. But, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy how the metaphor fits so well today on the show. It's just, thank you guys so much for everything that you shared today with me too, because they always learn from everybody. So. Well, thank you, sir. And the thing that it is, is that, you know, what we, we created the speakerspathway.com, just like climbing a summit from a rock climbing perspective, uh, you're going to go and grow at your own pace. And the same is true in business. Go and grow at your own pace. And, and that's very, very critical. And Dandy, Don, um, we'd like to give something out to the audience today on a Friday freebie. And, sir, what do you have on the menu for us today? You know, we got talking about climbing. And it made me think of a course that I that I have. It's a video course. It's called The Entrepreneur's Climb. 
And it's about getting clear on the summit that you want to be on because nothing's worse than reaching a summit and realizing it's the wrong one. So I would love to give this is for the first person who asked for this on our site, speakerspathway.com, go to the contact and say, I want the entrepreneur's climb course. And I will send this to you. Super valuable course helps you get clarity on the summit you want to be on and helps you to take those steps. So it's absolutely clear that path through the glaciers, through the crevasses to help you get to that summit. Thank you, sir. And Mark, you mentioned something that you wanted to give away today. What would that be, sir? Sure, I did. And I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do an autographed copy with the transcription that the person would like to the book, our second book, which is called Warrior's Code 001, The Seven Vital Steps to Resiliency. It has uh, a questionnaire in there where you're at and where you want to go. It has all kinds of other veteran stories inside the steps of those seven steps. And I would love to be able to, uh, to transcribe that and give that to that lucky winner. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. I tell you, it's really looking forward to being a a part of your summit there. And again, I'm just in awe of 60 hours of information flowing out to people from all walks of life and the speakers and everyone there comes from a Every one of us have a different background. Each one of us bring our own secret sauce to the party. And the beauty in that is that the listeners who tune in to the summit, because it's a virtual summit, they'll be able to pick and choose the people that they can connect to and say, hey, tell me more. And they can get all the information they want from those persons and make the right decision for them for their own personal climb up their summit. Exactly. That's exactly right. So to put it in perspective, with 60 speakers, if you're if you're going to school and generally have three one hour lectures a week. So this is like a whole semester. This is like a whole (laughs) semester in in school. Okay, so I just wanted to it just happened to come into my mind that analogy that this is like having a whole semester from some experts from around the world. So take Mark up on his offer to attend this summit. It's going to be incredible. Oh, yes. And uh, give the um, the website again where people can sign up for it. we got about one minute left, Mark. Sure, no problem. It is GetResilientSummit.com. So there's a quick uh, name, your first name, last name, and your email, and you're in. So. Absolutely. And once they, they'll get the information and you won't be followed up with some sales pitch like a lot of things that people try to, you know, sweet talk you into. It's all about giving value and take notes and lessons from the summit because it's all about serving others first. If you serve others and you provide a good product and a good quality service, the money will come. Most people are focused on trying to sell, sell, sell just for money. And that is the wrong way to go. You're not going up. You're going down. Yeah, we do not that? want someone to sign up for the all-access pass or any other if they cannot afford it. That's the reason why we do the free option. So thank you so much for clarifying that. Thank you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. I'm Jim Grant. We'll see you next Friday. Have a wonderful week.